Hi folks, uh, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. Today we have a short video, hopefully I'll keep it short. It's called An Open Letter to Xiaomi. I'm gonna go over some stuff about Xiaomi and a letter to them. An internet letter, I don't know if they'll ever read this, see it, or if somebody knows how to pass it on, that's fine. Let's do the intro first. We'll be right back with the content. Hi there, folks. And now an open letter to Xiaomi. I've memorized this. Hopefully I can remember it all. Dear Xiaomi, I want to thank you for destroying my entire budget on my tax return for two phones that were absolute garbage because both of them did neither allow for expandable storage properly or they gave me horseshit. Your SD card is slow. One of the latest SD cards we've tried is a SanDisk V30 UH3 Class 10. I put it in every other phone I own. Worked like a champ. Instantly. Formatted. Had a friend who's Mr. Nitpick put it in his phone. He was like, holy crap, that's the fastest. Yeah, I was like, I know it is. So... As we all know, that means you're doing one thing, and that is putting bend parts, parts that do not meet specifications. We all know you don't make your own micro SD card reader. So in an effort to save a few dollars, you decided to screw over new customers. Unfortunately, one of the customers you ran into, his main reason for buying both of these phones was the micro SD card expansion. And of course the great cameras. And the cameras were good on the Mi 3. I, I gave up on the Mi, on the Redmi Note 8. The software was so bad, it was non-functional. The phone was basically out of the box, a pile of crap that hasn't got updated yet. I sent it to a friend and I don't imagine he'll be a friend for long. So I spent roughly $183 on that, plus a rinky case. And then I uh, bought the uh, Mi A2 for about two ten, and a little case for like $7. We don't even worry about that. So you can either send me a refund for roughly the we're right in the neighborhood of about 400 and some dollars. You do the math. You can send me a refund. If you want to know where to send that, contact me at my email address, high end, that's H I, no G H, E N D C H E A P T E C H at gmail.com. If you happen to watch this, or better yet, how about you put your money where your mouth is and prove to me I got slow SD cards. Send me uh, your new Mi 10 Pro. Uh, we'd call it even. Or even the Redmi Note 9 S. We'd call it even. Because I know you won't dare on a more expensive phone use bend parts. But you decided to screw your low-end customers, which apparently you Chinese haven't caught on to yet. Here in America, you know, you buy something that's garbage, like a car, that you saved up for. And it's no good. You'll never buy from that brand again. And personally, right now, the way I feel, unless you can prove me wrong and send me one of those two phones, it's preferable to that refund. And, uh, of course, 
this is going to go nowhere. But you slowly but surely made the Mi A3 much closer in total uselessness to the uh, Note 8. It'll format a card that's internal and it pops up and says, HD card is slow. It's not slow. It's a U3 V30 class 10. Guaranteed not slow. So for me, well, send me one of those two phones I asked for. <sighs> what you've done is use cheap parts, bind parts as they're known. <sighs> Doesn't take a genius to figure it out. I know you don't make your own hardware. I'm not recommending Huawei phones to people. And they spy out of the United States. You know, it doesn't matter. I don't care if Huawei knows I went to McDonald's today. I really don't. I can live with it. And I know they make all their hardware in-house, and I guarantee their micro SD card readers will not say that they still, you know, this SD card is slow. So put me wrong. Send me one of those phones, the you know, Redmi Note 9S or the Mi 10 Pro, and then we'll really know. Because I know you wouldn't dare offer customers paying that much. But you need to understand that screwing your customer only guarantees you for every one guy who's ticked off. He's going to tell 10. He just lost 10 customers. I mean, I've talked to people when they were like, what do you think of these uh, Xiaomi? I was like, don't touch them. Don't buy anything that says Xiaomi on it. But right now, they have me so angry, I can't recommend any of their products because they use crap hardware. So that's all I have. Uh, for today so thank you Xiaomi for reading this uh, Tim from High End Cheap Tech signing out and that's all we have folks please uh, check the uh, link. the Mi A2 <laughs> still a great phone no expandable storage, so we're playing our shuffle game. Get the stuff shot, uploaded, deleted. Shouldn't have to do that. I bought two phones. I should have fixed that. <laughs> so like, share, subscribe, and if you know how to tell me, pass this on to them. Share it with everyone you know. Leave feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Who knows when. Our budget is zero. They shall be for that.